there. Welcome back. I finally finished my journaling travel desk that I was making. So let me show it to you. I'm actually really pleased with it, although I'm not pleased with the sewing. So this is what it looks like. All finished. And as I open it up, I'm going to show you different things about it. Okay, so first off, in the front here, we have a pocket. And in the back, I have another little pocket, just like an ID pocket. <clears throat> and on the bottom, there are two uh, Velcro things. And that's for something that you'll see in just a minute. So when you first open it up, it's going to go like this. And this flap velcros right here to stay closed. So, and then it comes back and it velcros to the bottom of that to form this little pen holder. And then this is one pocket with the two pockets over here and another pocket with a big pocket here. And then there we go. So, let's fill it up. Um, this is for going to be for journaling um, when I'm traveling for, you know, more than just a weekend or something. If it's just a weekend, I'll just take stuff um, enough for a couple days kind of thing. So I've gathered some different papers and, and things here uh, for my backgrounds of my journals. We're going to put all of those right in this pocket. And then also in this pocket, I'm going to put this, this is what's left of these stickers. Not much, so I'll put them right in there. And then I've got some other big stickers, like these feathers and these little notes. And then some smaller stuff. And again, I just grabbed some things, nothing no rhyme or reason to what I grabbed, just different things. And some photo corners and photo stickers. And we're just going to put all of that right in here. Like I said, the sewing isn't pretty, but it's functional, so. So um, I don't need a big, a lot of watercolors. Um, all I need really is enough to do a wash around the corner of the pages. So this little, little, little set will do just fine. And because I just do washes with it, this is the brush I will take. So it needs to be, um, you know, these are the half pans are big enough to, to get down in there. So. I'm going to put that. This is the beauty of this. I can just take these pockets right off. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to stick this brush right there. Uh, let's see what's next. Okay. Next up, I'm going to put this in. Um, I want to be able to have a light. <coughs> Uh, if I'm on a plane or something, and this is fairly bright and small. So actually I'm going to put that right in this pocket with this stuff. Uh, oh, I also have all my, my collection of washi tape. I think I showed you that before for traveling when I went to uh, Montreal. So these are just all some samples of, of some of my washi tapes. And I will put those in here. And again, I think those can go in here as well. And I think the other thing I'm going to put in this pocket will be my 
photo. Hmm. Where is my photo thing? Oh my. Oh, I need to get a little drawer over here. Put this right in there. That about does it for that pocket. Corner of those stickers is sticking in there. Okay, what else? Oh, so this is my, um, I think I showed you these before too. These are my, just my little uh, half dram bottles of inks. Uh, it's not all of my inks, but it's enough. And I'll put my uh, my nibs in there as well. And then I think I'll put a couple a couple binder clips in there. bottle of Modge Podge, a water brush, again the only thing I do in my journal usually for watercoloring is, um, is just a, a thing around the edge. I need my, my pen for my, oh, that's not the right one. My pen for my nibs. Put that right there. Uh, I'll bring an eraser. Put that in there. Little mini pair of scissors. I got these at Hobby Lobby over in the sewing section. My glue. Uh, I probably should have a ruler. I don't use one very often, but I think I probably should have one. Um, and actually, that I can put in one of these pockets right here. that I use for my glue. And that's the little brush I use for the glue. I also need a piece of acetate for the gluing. And I'll just put that right under there. Stamps. I need some stamps. Take these and these. Back to this pocket. Oh. There's a thread caught in there. This isn't good. Okay. Not that pocket. That's okay because I have another one over here. That doesn't fit. <laughs> what happened to this zipper? Oh, there we go. It's being all weird. Oh, 
I see. There's a piece of material caught in it. some of these in here. And now pens. Let's see. I definitely want my silver and my gold. Uh, I definitely want white. Okay, four fountain pens. Mm -hmm. These are what I mark my fountain pens with so I know what, what ink is in them at the time. And then I just change the tag, tags out when I change the ink. Still have some places left for pens. Oh, uh, my purple micron. And maybe a couple gel pens. Huh? Jelly rolls. A couple jelly rolls. So there's the pens and a brush. <clears throat> so closing this up, we're just gonna, just gonna fold this over, fold this over, fold this up and un unvelcro it, velcro it back down here.
And there we go. The bonus to all of this is that um, this part and this part here un underneath the cutting board, these, these all have plastic in them, but I can pull this plastic out just by undoing the Velcro. Uh, and, and pulling it out. I'm not going to pull it out right now, but but these three sections of plastic pull out down here, and the section of plastic that's inside here pulls out down here. And that way I can wash this whole thing um, by you know taking the plastic out and wash it. it'll fit in my what I use for a carry-on bag which is a diaper bag I already have my little uh, my paint sketchbook in there So they are both in there, and I still have uh, plenty of room for other stuff, and my drinks, and there we go. <laughs> but again, my purpose for making this was so that I had a little desk that I could journal at on a plane, on a bus, um, in an Airbnb, and I would have a um, protected work surface to work on. Um, you know, and I wouldn't ruin somebody's desk or something or table or whatever at an Airbnb. Um, but I think this is going to work out very nice. There's plenty of room for me to work here. Um, obviously sitting at a, a tray table on an airplane. Uh, this will be up against the seat back. This can actually fold in this way a little bit more. These can hang down. Um, this one actually comes off. Um, I've designed this one so that it comes off. And I can just do away with it completely and get it right out of there. I just have to take the uh, strap apart, which is very simple. Take the strap off from here. And then I can just take the strap right off of this side and I can put that like in the seat back pocket or something like that or in my lap or wherever I can get it out of the way I think this is gonna work out great thank you so much for watching and suffering through with me on this project um, if you have any questions please feel free to ask um, I took video of just about the whole entire process um, so I can always look back at it myself and, and tell you how I did something or whatever. Alright, thanks and have a great evening.